My name is Parry Aftab, and I'm an internet privacy and security lawyer. I live in the United States and spend a great deal of time in Canada as well, but I run the very first cyber safety charity that was ever formed. We were formed in 1995, and we operate out of 76 countries around the world through our unpaid volunteers. I'm unpaid too. A great deal of the time we spend helping people who've been victimized and targeted online, from adults to kids. And the, probably the thing I enjoy the most is helping young people become empowered by the technology and help prevent them from being cyber bullies or being cyber bullied. So cyber bullying is when one minor provokes another minor using digital technology. They use it as a weapon to hurt them. They may pretend to be them. They may get into their account and post embarrassing pictures or send threats to their friends. They may take their head and put it on someone else's naked body. They may comment on their weight, uh, the lack of uh, physical prowess. They may call them stupid, which is actually the word used most frequently in cyberbullying. And they hurt them deeply. When a young person, starting at about seven, um, receives a cyberbullying message, they are often revisiting the scene of the crime. They'll go back to the text message, they'll go back to the Instagram, they'll go back to the email they received and read it and re-victimize themselves all the time. So how do we make sure that they're strong enough to be able to withstand the hate that comes online? Our children now more than ever are facing hate that comes out of Washington, that comes out of politicians around the country and around the world. They're watching massacres out of New Zealand live on Facebook video. And then often they are personally targeted by someone their own age who knows the buttons to push. They know where they hurt the most. They know their secrets and they're happy to share them. Understanding how cyberbullying works is crucial if we're going to target it. So there are different kinds of cyberbullies. One, mean girls. Mean girls are always mean, but not always girls. And it's a social type of cyberbullying. They operate online and offline, and they're one of just two kinds of cyberbullies that do that. They will make fun of you. They will talk about your sexual preferences, or if you're a girl, say you're a tramp, they will do anything to make sure that no one invites you to the birthday parties, no one likes you, and everyone sides with them against you. They have help. They're bystanders under a general category, but they may be posses, they may be suck-ups, they may be wannabes, um, and all we have to do is read some of the books and watch some of the movies that we've seen on Mean Girls and, and uh, Queen Bees and Wannabes and all of the others that are out there to understand how that works. And if you're involved in a middle school or you're a parent of someone who's in middle school, no one needs to coach you. The second are power hungry cyber bullies. They also operate in real life. They tend to operate one on one. They may have a posse who follows them around and likes being with the thug. They are often the ones who will beat you up in the schoolyard or knock you down in the hallway or shove you and pick you up and put you upside down in the trash can. But online, they threaten you. They may try to provoke fights to show that they're tougher than you are. They operate pretty much under intimidation and they like your attention. They also operate real life and online and they will switch back and forth. There's a subcategory of power hungry cyber bullies and I call them revenge of the nerds. These are students who masquerade online as either someone who really is one of the thugs from the schoolyard or make up a fake identity pretending to be one of them. So they may not be able to beat you up. They may be the ones who are beaten up in real life, but online they can pretend to be anyone they want and they will try to intimidate you and get your respect and frighten you. Often, they will take on the real bullies, uh, pretending to be bigger than they are, and sometimes it works. So they start out trying to protect themselves and their friends, but they turn into cyber bullies as well because they're enjoying the feeling of power that comes from it.